Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about Law of Octaves. This will be the second quarter topic, week 5 and day 2. And this lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to explain the concepts of the law of octaves and how it relates to the periodic arrangement of elements The second one is to work collaboratively in small groups to identify elements that follow or do not follow the law of octaves And the third one is to critically evaluate the limitations of the law of octaves and how scientific understanding evolves over time. John Newland, a British chemist, saw a pattern when he arranged elements known at the time in 1864 by increasing atomic mass. Every eight elements, like going up and down, eight piano keys. Elements with similar properties showed up again. New lands call this the law of octaves. It proposes that elements with similar properties repeat after eight places when arranged by increasing atomic mass. An example of a comparison is provided that can be used for the discussion. So we have two elements, the lithium and the sodium. When it comes to the properties, first is state at room temperature. For the lithium, it is solid and for the sodium, it is also solid. When it comes to te textures, the lithium has soft while sodium has soft also. And when it comes to the color, Lithium has cell very white, while sodium also has cell very white. And when it comes to metal or non-metal, both are metal. And when it comes to the density, both are low. Another comparison of elements, we have carbon and silicon. So when it comes to the state of room temperature, both are solid. And for metal or non-metal, both have non-metal. And when it comes to the strength in conducting electricity, both are poor. Another comparison between the properties of elements such as chlorine and cobalt. So when it comes to the state at room temperature, chlorine is gas while cobalt is solid. And when it comes to the color, chlorine has greenish yellow while cobalt is bluish gray. When it comes to the metal or non-metal, chlorine has non-metal whereas cobalt has metal. When it comes to the reactivity, Chlorine is extremely reactive, while cobalt is somewhat reactive. For the lesson activity, the students will accomplish activity number two. So ask the students to complete the tables below by referring to the periodic table of elements for properties. So allow them to access other resources to complete the activity. Afterwards, the students will answer the questions for enrichment. So for the first question, do all the pairs above follow the law of octaves? And for the second question, why do you think some elements do not follow the law of octaves? Not all elements fit neatly into groups or eight. Some elements have properties that fall between others, kind of like having a note in between some piano keys. The law of octaves focuses on the atomic mass, but it's not the most accurate way to organize the elements based on their overall properties. This method of classifying elements did not leave any room for the discovery of new elements. The law of octaves does not perfect was stepping stone. It helps scientists notice repeating patterns among elements which later lead to the development of the periodic table based on the atomic number which is a more accurate way to group elements with similar properties.